everyone, welcome back to our Paleo Pines demo playthrough. My name is Savannah and this is the third and what will be the final episode of the Paleo Pines demo. Now I don't know if we will exactly finish the entire demo, however, because I am so excited for the full release of the game, I don't want to play too, too much. I want to leave most of it for the actual release itself. So rest assured, if you're enjoying the playthrough and you do want more, this game definitely will be back. And I cannot wait for the release on uh, Switch, really, because that's where I really want to play this game. Now, in last episode, we got Winter over here, our Galley Mimus, who is hanging out doing, I don't know, are you just doing Galley Mimus things? I'm not quite sure what it is you're doing. Now, it has been a little while since the last episode, so I might have to remember how to play uh, throughout this episode, so hopefully it's not too, too bad. But we were trying to clear like a rock over here to the another town. Um, let me bring up the journal here and we can take a look, right? Don't we have some like some things to do. Yeah, find a para, talk to Granny uh, at home in Dapplewood. That's where we need to un uh, clear the boulder here. And then we need to grow at least 10 carrots and then take the carrots to Granny. Now, uh, I think these look watered. Is that right? Um, I am not quite sure. I think we might have watered them in uh can i pick this up no no of course not i need my watering can right and then i can use it can i fill that up yeah jump over jump over onto there and uh see if we water these because i think okay yes they are watered which is great that was the wrong square but they are watered because they're darker in the middle beautiful perfect let's get rid of that now those carrots are growing. Let's take Lucky, I think, because I could not figure out how to pick up this saddle here uh, from the last episode. Although it says, because it just says, hmm. So I wonder if somebody has to tell us how to pick it up. Perhaps this will come in useful later. So maybe we need to um have like a better relationship with winter i'm not quite sure but let's go ahead and take lucky on into the wilderness um let me double check and see do we have we have one crunchy pop in so not entirely sure which animals or which dinosaurs really like the crunchy pop ins or not but i really want one of these guys there's not a pink one over there though I don't think, does this go any further over here? I don't think so. I think this is kind of a dead end. Although we have these berries on here. Can I get down and see if we can journal these berries? I kind of forget. That's a, it's a cranberry. That's a journal. How can we journal them? I, uh, I kind of forget. <laughs> oh, well, let's go ahead and search for dinosaurs. That's what I really wanted to do is go see what other kinds of dinosaurs we could really find over here and see if we could tame any more? I'm not quite sure. I really wanted that pink uh, Styracosaurus from last time. And those of you that mentioned names, thank you so much. Names uh, like peaches and stuff like that is so cute, but I don't see one. So we might have to wait uh, for longer in order to get one of those guys. But let's see if we can find another little dinosaur. Since there's really not much to do on our farm, we're really only waiting for the carrots to grow so we can harvest those. Let's see if we can actually talk to... Uh oh, what was his name? We're going to find out in like two seconds. Let me get off and talk to this guy over here. Uh, oh, and that's right. How are you getting on with your dinosaur journal? Uh, that's all you have to say? I'm doing great, actually, Owen. Thank you so much. I am on the search right now for more, uh, for more dinos. Ooh, what if there was swimming dinosaurs in the future? <gasps> also, can I catalog these because they're glowing? Oh, no, but I can pick them. Oh, it's a clover. Okay, how cool. 
So we've got some clovers. It is getting nighttime, and I'm pretty sure different dinosaur colorations come out at night. Ooh, look, more clovers. I have no idea what we can use these for, but I'm going to collect them just in case. I wonder if we can feed them to Lucky or something like that. Oh, I heard a frog. Like a little rivet. Yeah, anyway, I I think that would be really cool if there was little swimming dinosaurs eventually, like in the pond and stuff. That would be really, really cool. All right, let's... Uh, we kind of went in a circle. <laughs> Let's go back over here. I'm still learning the map, so forgive me. Because I kind of don't have this memorized. And it has been quite a few weeks since we played this last. And fortunately, oh, my life got in the way. I just was not able to play as much as I really wanted to. It's evening. Okay. Ugh, I've run out of time. I went on this grand expedition not realizing that the day was almost over. So we might have to sleep and then come back out in the morning. These little Satakasauruses are so, so cute. There's only one right now. Normally there's a couple. But you're not very special of a color, so I'm going to pass on you. I feel bad saying that, but I'm kind of looking for special, fun, different colors that we haven't really seen yet. There's more clovers, but I don't want to get off and harvest absolutely everything because I'm on a mission. Have we gone up here before? <gasps> We haven't, because what's this? Is this the backside of town? I think, I think we have to get that way into town, right? Can we go across down here? No, that's the edge of the map. That's kind of what I figured. Let's head on over here. I just really want to explore everything that we possibly can explore before I kind of you know, give up on the demo and wait for full release, which like I said in the beginning of the video, I am so incredibly excited for. I cannot wait to get this game on my Switch and be able to play like cozy on the couch. Uh, definitely going to record more episodes, uh, like a whole new playthrough, rather playthrough, excuse me, Tam Tama Bloom times three. Very good. Um, and that way we can start like an entirely new thing. Now, uh, I totally forget, um, how that's community collection. How were we researching things? I remember we did that last time, but I cannot remember what I pressed. Hmm. Ancient tablet fragment. Oh, interesting. Is that not something that we can even do anything with right now? That's super interesting. Um, that's the jar. Aha. Right? There we go. Okay, so another part of the puzzle. Ancient tablet fragment discovered. That's right, we have to bring out our journal and then we can research these things. Uh, I already researched that, which is why it has a journal entry. Very good, very good. Okay, let's hop back on Lucky because it's getting nighttime and it may take me a little while to figure out how in the heck to get home <laughs> because I still don't know the map very well, but maybe we'll come across like a nighttime dinosaur. I was pretty sure that I read that there are special nighttime colors. There's more Gallimimus. Same kind of colors that we've seen before. That's super pretty. All those crystals, like the dream crystals and whatnot. But let's head on back this away. What's this little circle thing for? I wonder if we can make a campfire there at some point. All right, let's head on back. We're gonna, we're gonna sprint. That way we can just get back and go to sleep because, uh, I don't know. Do you get in trouble for staying out all night? We might find that out because it's getting very late, very quickly. <gasps> Lucky leveled up. Oh, she has more stamina now. Beautiful. That is wonderful. I wonder if she could be helpful with like smashing the rock. Although I'm pretty sure we needed like a Styracosaurus or something like that in order to smash the rock because Lucky's not able. Yeah, she's not able to smash the rock. She's able to dig up small rocks, apparently, but she's not able to headbutt bigger rocks. Let's go to sleep. 
Good night. Oh, little Lucky having dreams. Oh, hello. Owen's gonna come say hi to us? Hi, Owen. How goes it? Hold on one second, my farm is very big. Give me just a second to get over to ya. <laughs> what is up? Owen, oh, good morning. Sorry to show up unannounced. I was hoping to update my data on the Parasauropolis. As you can imagine, it's rather sketchy. Or is it Parasaurophy? Sarophophy. Oh my goodness, I have such a hard time saying the original name anyway, and now they're gonna go and make it into a pun. I don't even know the pluralization. Oh, I guess it is the pluralization. Anyway, I've never met one, never mind two. Anyway, then I notice you've acquired a new friend, a Gallimimus. Are you going to tell me about a saddle? And you've barely been here a week. It took me months to get Bongo to follow me home. Now, I don't mean to brag, but I kind of, I'm kind of the expert around here on Gallimimus. In fact, I've got volumes of information on dinosaur care. Some observed, much theoretical or extrapolated, but all useful. Is there anything that might be vexing you regarding the Gallimimus care or dinosaur happiness in general? Um, yeah, pen. When caring for a dinosaur, their pen represents a space they can call their own. Like, they like their pen to be a decent size comparative to themselves and be fully enclosed. Well, not fully enclosed. With a gate, of course, and the gate is always open so they can come and go as they please. A good pen needs a place to eat, a place to sleep, and to be kept tidy. Er, you'll know what I mean about keeping tidy soon enough. Trust me, you'll want a shovel. Anything else you'd like to know? Yeah, uh, dreamstones. I noticed that Lucky's pen already has a dreamstone. Dreamstones are the most crucial element to a dinosaur's comfort. Science can't explain why they love them so much, but they most certainly do. If you haven't got one, you may wake up one morning and find they run off to find one themselves. Speaking of which, keep your eyes open. Dreamstones are rare in the wild, but if you're bringing home new friends, you'll need them. Okay, well, I have one, so I'm going to have to figure out how to place it. Now, the most important thing to remember about living with dinosaurs is this. You don't own them. They're not pets or property, they're your friends, and it's their choice whether they stay with you or head back out into the wild. The better you treat them, the more they'll trust you and the longer they'll stick around. If they trust you enough, they'll offer to be your steed. In fact, some might even like to help out around the ranch. They'll let you know when they're steed worthy. Okay, so that answers my question about the, the, um, the saddle over there. But give yourself a saddle before you do anything like that. Trust me, I've learned the hard way. Anything else you want to know? Uh, no, I'm good, thank you. Gallimimus is going to be an herbivore, I'm pretty sure, so it'll eat the same food as Lucky. Well, I hope you found this conversation enlightening. I have one favor to ask, or perhaps you can accept this uh, it as a recommendation. Anything you learn about any species at all, could you please log it in your journal? Your journal is a vessel to house new discoveries, learned preferences, traits, flavors, and much more. Use it often and you'll never forget anything. Plus, I may want to compare notes now and then. The life of a scientist is never dull. If I may be so bold, allow me to be the first to welcome you to the breathtaking world of data entry, starting with winter. Oh, well, thank you so much. Approach the Galley Minus with your journal in hand and take notes. So inventory journal, walk up to winter. Let's journal you winter. There we go. Gallimimus discovered. I like that I uh, befriended it and then I discovered it. That's it. Keep holding the journal out like that. See how winter is feeling. Uh, winter needs a pen. The heart uh, is how much winter trusts you. The circle around it shows how happy they are right now. Does that mean it's red so she's not happy? The happier the dino is, the more they'll trust you each day. Now, if you excuse me, I've got a big day planned. Destination, my library. Thank you so much, Owen. Goodbye. 
Now, let's see, because we have a dream stone. Uh, use the flute to, oh, use the flute to get Winter's attention. Winter! Uh, I... Yoo-hoo! One, one, one. Right, oh, one, one, one. I was pressing my mouse. Uh, follow me. Two, two, two. Come on now. Lead her to a pen. <gasps> Beautiful. So this is all we needed, is we just needed Owen to come tell us what to do. Hey, hey you. Keep following. Yeah, yeah. Come on in here. Great. Come on in here. Come on, come on. There you go. Beautiful. Uh, is it fully in... Oh, this is why it doesn't count. It's not fully enclosed. Can we lead you to Lucky's pen? Can you share? Come on. That's the problem. Use her. Okay, stay in the pen. Three, three, three. Put some food out in a trough for winter. Winter has a new home. Okay, great. Uh, this is herbivore food, right? Can I? Can I? Hold on. Put your flute down. Inventory. Can I drag that in there? Oh, nope, that didn't work. Um, put the flute away. Oh, there we go. Great. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Lucky. I'm sorry. There you go. <laughs> uh, can I pick this up again? Because I didn't mean... There we go. I did not mean to put that down. Okay. There we go. Now we have food in the trough. Place a large dream stone in Winter's Pen. Excuse me, dinosaurs. Uh, let's maybe put it... Maybe put it over here by this little bush. I think. Maybe. There's a large dream stone. Can I place this down? Oh. Uh, okay, maybe we put it... Maybe we put it in the corner? Like... Oh. Um... Yeah, we can put it there. That's fine. Great. Pet Winter's nose. Um, can I get out of this? Winter, come here. Pet your nose? Oh, what a good little galley my Look at the butt wiggle. Okay, Winter looks like you're all settled in. I'll check back tomorrow with the journal, like Owen told me. Okay, fantastic. So that's all set. Let's see, actually, Lucky, come here. We're gonna go to town. And we're gonna buy some more fences. I wonder if we can change their enclosures, like their pens. Like now that winter is assigned to that one, I wonder if at all we can change their pens around. <gasps> Look, the pink one, you guys. Let's see, can we make a new friend? Um. Let's get her attention, right? Yeah. That was a this, that was that, that, that. Come on. Yeah, over here. <gasps> Look at the way she looked at us from the side eye. How cute was that? Oh, the boulder's in the way. So one, two, three. Was that it? Or was it, it was a big one, right? Three? Was that it? This is really hard because the boulder's in the way. Hold on. Can I? Oops, that was the wrong button. Um, let's do a see you later and let's try to get her attention from over here because that way the boulder's not in the way and I can actually see what I'm doing. How about... Hello, little dog. Ah, look at it. The, look at the side eye. I love it so much. Okay. So that's two lines, one line, no lines. So two lines. Yeah. <gasps> we did it. Yes. Let's do it again. So, oh, oh, oh. Uh, feed. Let's feed. Oh, the crunchy popping guaranteed to dislodge a tooth. Okay, well, let's try a clover. Yes. 
We like clovers. It's really the only thing I have, sweet little girl. Oh, nope. That was, uh, got overexcited. Oh no, she liked the clover too much. Come back, come back. Come back, come back, come back. We won't do clover. No, 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 that's not what I wanted. I want this. Hello, little girl, come on over here. It's gonna be my little peaches. Come on, yeah, look, come on over here. We'll try one more time. I want this little dinosaur so bad. Uh, okay. Great. Great. <gasps> Getting the hang of it. Okay, okay. So if they're excited, we need to soothe them. So maybe that's where I went wrong. She was too excited. <gasps> yes. Befriend with a poppin. That's right. We befriend with the poppin. We don't feed them the poppin. We got to get them to that green spot. Come on. You're right in the middle, little one. You want the poppin'? You know you do. You gonna eat it? Can we give you the poppin'? Are you thinking about it? What's happening? Oh, oh okay, great. I gave her the poppin'. <gasps> Styracosaurus are stubborn. Maybe a different flavor poppin' would help. I don't have another one. Ah, oh, the friend. I only have. I only have that one. No, you don't want it? Dang it. Okay, well, oops, I keep hitting the wrong button. <sighs> Let's go into town. I should talk to Pippin. A juicy poppin might be just the trick. Let's do it. Uh, because I. I know I have to leave. I should talk to Pippin. A juicy poppin might be just a trick. Yeah, well, I ha you have to let me leave. <laughs> you have to let me leave, little girl. She wants to be our friend. Um, feed? I guess we'll give her a clover and make her overly excited again. I know we should. We should talk to him. We should leave. I'm a little confused here. I should talk to Pippin. Yeah, I know. Um, it won't let me... It won't let me walk away from her. Uh-oh. I might have to restart. I am, uh, I am fully stuck in this little loop. Oh, no! Can I leave, please? I want to try it one more time. Nope. Okay, so after reloading, we have our little pink Styracosaurus over there. We're gonna head on into town. That was a little bit of a bug, unfortunately, and stuck us in that little loop. But, you know, it is a demo, so it can be expected, I guess. Let's head on into town, though, and see if we can get a... It's a juicy uh, pop-in, because I really want her to be our friend, little peaches. We already have a name picked out for her. It's absolutely perfect, so she's got to be our friend. Let's go talk to Pippin, who is up here on the hill, and see if he has a juicy uh, poppin. Uh, you look like someone who needs a poppin. A poppin, anyone? Yeah, trade, please. I want... Oh, you know what? Um, because it reloaded before we talked to her, uh, to Peaches, I'm sorry, to the Styracosaurus, it might not register that we actually need a juicy poppin. So let's see. Um, you know what? Let's talk to these guys because they have exclamations over their head. And I'm, I think that might mean they have something. Uh, no, trade. You'll be back. I am. I'm, I'm right here. I'm back now. Chat. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. It's my uncle's budding day. And I completely forgot a few minutes ago. Do you have a dandelion or a clover? There's nothing Uncle Taz loves more. 15 of each should do the trick. My goodness. Okay, well, that's a that's a flower collecting quest. And then what do you want? Something to do with breaking the boulder, I'm assuming. Anything I can offer you today? Uh, chitty chat. Between you and me, it's getting a bit rough with that path to Dapplewood blocked. I'm doing my best to keep up with the needs of the community, but it's tricky without my tools back home. My makeshift stone tools are really starting to wear out. Hey, with all that clearing you've been doing on your ranch, would you have 10 stone you could give me? Absolutely. 
Wow, thank you so much. New tools will rarely help out around, will really help out around here. I really owe you one, which reminds me, take these. It's stock I can easily, easily replenish thanks to your help. Uh, thank you. I did not, oh, goodness, I always click the wrong button. Um, I didn't see what you gave me. What did you give me? I guess we'll figure it out later. <laughs> Let's head on back out here. I'm going to kind of go through the same process with that Styracosaurus real quick. And then I'll see if that kind of re, re, um, like cues it, I guess. So let's head on over to there. We have it down. We're pros now. So let's head on over here and get off of Lucky and get our flute out and... Pay attention to me. Give me that little side eye. That adorable little side eye. Hello. Hello. Yeah, that little side eye. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, so we're pro now. Great. Beautiful. Perfect. Now, we have to soothe her, offer her the crunchy pop-in, and then realize that she doesn't like it. So let's soothe her. Oh, oh, she was already soothed. I picked the wrong thing. Whoopsies. Did I put her to sleep? <laughs> I did put her to sleep. <laughs> the Styracosaurus got bored after all my talking about being a pro. Well, while we're here, what if we, uh, what if we study her? There we go. Styracosaurus discovered. Woohoo. Um, wake up. Wake up, little one. Hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> I am obsessed with that animation. It's so cute. I love it so much. Great. Let's pay attention this time, Savannah. She's close enough. Now, pay attention whether we have to soothe or feed. Uh, so it looks like we have to feed. She's a little bit relaxed. We did put her to sleep. Here's a clover for you. Yes, yes. Take it. Love the clover. So excited. Did it work? <gasps> Ooh, let's see if we can be friend. Now, because we know this isn't really going to work, let's see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't get me stuck in the same loop again. Otherwise, we might have to give up. No, it doesn't. Okay, great. Hmm, Styracosaurus are stubborn. Maybe a different flavor flavored pop-in would help. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do. Now we can go talk to Pippin, who sells Poppins. I'm going to forever get that confused. Also, that's a clover that we need to collect some of, even though we just fed one to future peaches. All right, let's head back on over to town past the Satakosaurus. And I did see a little green one running around. So that's pretty cool because that's a different little color than we've seen before. And let's run on up the hill. I'm using all my stamina today. <laughs> Running around. Good, he has an explanation point. That means that hopefully, looks like you're someone that needs some poppins. Chat, the poppins are particularly crunchy today. Uh, can I tempt you? Yes, please. Great, let's do some business. Poppin anyone? That's it? Uh, not exactly. What do you mean not exactly? Is there something wrong with my poppins? What could be better? Another flavor. Flavor? The recipe for Poppin has been in my family for generations. To change the recipe would be to laugh in the face of tradition and family values. Corlin, hey Corlin, don't you think my Poppins taste great exactly as they are? Honestly, no, not really. Oh, so honest. Oh, poor Pippin. Fine. I can't believe I'm saying this, but what do you think would make them better? Juicy. I know you're new here, and I don't mean to be rude, but that's a terrible idea. In fact, I'll prove it. You find me some strawberries or carrots, and I'll whip up a batch of juicy poppins for you. I'll get you some. Uh, nothing with you? Well, that's probably for the best. Why alter perfection? Um, I have... Don't I have carrots? Oops. Oh, goodness. I always hit that button to end the talking, and it's not the right thing to do. Um, I thought I had carrots. Oh, I have carrot seeds. I wonder if Corlin is selling uh, either of those, because then I could just cheat, right? I could just buy them. Let's see. Please feel free to browse. Uh, you are selling pears. 
Will that work? How many? How much do I have? I don't have that much. Confirm? Let's try it. Why not? Pa I mean, pears are juicy, right? I hit the wrong button again. I'm so sorry. That's probably so obnoxious. <laughs> uh, hello. Popping or two? Popping anyone? Chat. Yes. Oh, man, it's strawberries or carrots. Okay, well, we have... Um, we have some pears now to feed to our dinosaurs, so that's fine. But let's go see if we can find some strawberries or carrots because the picky little Pippin needs some strawberries or carrots so that we can get our peaches. That's like my whole goal for this episode. <laughs> I have like totally forgotten about any of the quests or anything like that. I just want our pink Strachiosaurus so badly. Let's head on over in this direction because we went over there uh, to the left the other, uh, last night, uh, last evening. Oh, Gally Mimuses! I have no idea if these are something that we can find or not, or if we have to grow them. Because we, oh, you know what I just realized? Is that we didn't water our, we didn't water our carrots this morning. So we will have to go back and do that because I definitely don't want them to die. And I don't know how long they take to grow, but that is obviously one of the things we needed. I was just hopefully going to find strawberries or carrots that we don't have to... Uh, oh, you know what? In the town, right? We saw last night we had to enter through the town, but there was a, a little garden. Maybe we can steal from the garden? Is that wrong? Is stealing wrong? <laughs> is it stealing? Because they were all shiny, like I could pick them up, right? Let's head on back over to town. Look at how fast Lucky is, man. Speedy Gonzalez over here. They were like up in the top right, right? So over here, all the way up this hill. Lucky has way more stamina than I do. But let's run and see if we can find... Oh, we may not be able to go in here. Oh, dang it. Okay. So that's obviously a uh, um, limitation of the demo there. Man, I thought I was so smart. <laughs> I thought I was so clever, so smart. I was going to get around it. Uh, cheat the system. We'll do it the right way. Let's go back and water our carrots. That way I don't forget. And who knows? Maybe they're ready to harvest. I doubt it after just like a day, but you never know. Never know. I don't really know a whole lot about this game, so I could could be right. Could be ready to harvest. Oh, look at him. He's out there. Maybe he will help us find things. A she. She. That's right. Isn't this a she or is it a he? I forget who this is. She. Hello. Mari. Hey, stranger. Nice to see you again. Golly, I still can't believe it. A real-life Parasauropolis living right around the corner. She's beautiful. What did you say her name was again? It's Lucky. Well, I reckon I'm lucky to have met ya. Ha ha ha. <laughs> you know, no one's seen a par Parasauropolis in this neck of the woods in a raptor's age. And I should know. I've been in the tree line of Dapplewood all the way to the edge of Aracoda? Arasota, is that how you say that? Canyon. They've not gone. I've seen tracks, scuff, markings, and other unmentionable evidence, if you catch my drift. They're just, what's the word? Uh, elusive. But hey, who knows? Maybe Lucky will bring them out of hiding. Until then, I'm just going to have to give all my love to this one. What's Lucky's favorite food? Um, that's a great question. Tomatoes? I like those too. Kindred spirits, Lucky and me. Here, I don't mind sharing a few. If I spot any Parasauropolis tracks around, I'll be the first to know. In the meantime, don't be a stranger. Um, did I just pick Lucky's favorite food? Or did I just get a random fruit? Uh, <laughs> maybe now Lucky's favorite food is tomatoes. Interesting. Off to water our carrots. Let's see. <gasps> Look, our carrots have um little, little leaves little leaves that's fantastic let's see water them beautiful that way we don't forget look at winter all excited over there in the pen running around okay good and i'm glad i did this before i was out of stamina as well because that would have been kind of bad 
All right, Lucky. Ready. Ready, skitty. Let's go find some strawberries. Or, you know, some wild carrots would be good, too. Um, I'm not quite sure what we will find, if anything. But I guess it's it's worth kind of a, a run around, right? Oh, there's pears on this tree. That's something that I can research, right? Oh, excuse me. Yeah, pear tree. Beautiful. Okay, pear discovered. Great, awesome, fantastic. Let's see. Strawberries or carrots? I feel like strawberries would be in an open field. I guess carrots could be as well. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm recording this after a very long day at work, so I all of a sudden just got very tired. So pardon me, excuse me. Let's head on over here. Such a pretty map, such a big map too. <gasps> oh my goodness. That one's bouncing. I like this one. It's a Corythosaurus. <gasps> Look! And it's a Stegosaurus. Oh, sorry, I ran into it. <gasps> oh my goodness, there's purple ones! So many! <gasps> Do you think they like crunchy poppins? Should we try? <gasps> oh my goodness, where were all these dinosaurs hiding? <gasps> Do you hear them? Oh my goodness. Look at this one. Oops. <gasps> yes, side eye. Come on over here. Look at how pretty it is. I don't know the friend call. Can I just try random things? Or do I need to... Uh, do I need to watch? I guess is what I need to do, right? So wait until they make some noise themselves. Look at how they run on two feet like Lucky does. Oh my goodness, this is great. Can you guys do a song? A sing, sing a song? Look at the purple one over there though. I can't decide whether I like this blue one or I like the purple one better. Oh, blue, yellow, purple. Oh, red, red, purple. Red, red, purple, purple. Red, red, purple, purple. Was that it? Okay, I have to get their attention first. And then it was red, red, purple, purple. No, that wasn't it? <gasps> Dang it, I thought it was. I thought that's what I saw. You're so pretty, too. Oh my goodness, look at the gradient on the little crest on the head. I don't think we're meant to tame these guys yet. Oh, oh, oh! Research. Can I, can I research you without running away? I open my little journal and try to walk up to them and they're like, Heck no, lady! Get away from me! Uh, oh, the tail wiggle! See, red, red, purple, purple, right? Red, red, purple, purple. But that's what they didn't like. Oh, oh, big red, big blue, yellow, oh my gosh. Big red, big blue, yellow, blue, purple. Oh, nailed it, you guys. I nailed it. We didn't even have to do the friend call. We just had to repeat what they were doing. <gasps> it's almost ready to be befriended. Poppin? Yeah? You like a crunchy poppin? Oh, oh. Oh, dang it. Did not like the crunchy poppin. But at least, what is that? Oh, a rock, repair progress, mystery garden. Oh, interesting, <gasps> look at them. Wait, 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 wait. Can I, can I research you? No, they're gonna run away. Dang it. All right, well, okay. 
strawberries. Focus, Savannah. There's so many cute dinosaurs to make friends with. I just want to befriend them all. And we found a secret little garden. How cute is that? Uh, oh, those are clovers down there. I think we had, I think we had enough, right? Um, yeah, we have 18 clovers. So we need, we needed something else, right? We needed, uh, 10 carrots, five, uh, 15 dandelions. And we had 15, um, clovers as well. I don't think we found any dandelions. Let's see. This is a dead end over here. Are those dandelions down there? Is that what those are? Uh, I don't think those are flowers worth picking. Those are more clovers. Because the things that we can pick are shiny. Can we go up this hill, Lucky? Can you go up this hill? No, you cannot. <gasps> Whoa. What are those? What are those? They look like crocodiles. And Ankylosauruses? Oh my goodness, how did I not find these the other couple times? Um, let's journal this, because we can. Because I think these are cranberries, right? Yeah, those are cranberries. Great, cranberry discovered, and I can... Not enough room in inventory, uh-oh. Um, maybe I can throw something away? What are these? Oh, fiber. Can we put that in a box? Okay, great. <laughs> now we have room for, uh, you guys can have that box of fiber. Have fun with that. Now we have room for strawberries when we find them. Those guys were like hidden over in the corner. They're so cute. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to get a picture of them. Cause I need, I need pictures of the dinos for a thumbnail. <laughs> it's what I need. So let's see, there's a little Ankylosaurus. Let's take a screenshot of that, beautiful. And can I get any closer? Are they just gonna follow me, right? I kind of want like a side angle. Oh, that's perfect. Little Ankylosaurus guy. Yeah. Lucky, what the heck are you doing back there? Running around like a madman. All right, strawberries is what we're looking for. Getting distracted. I love this game so much. <laughs> this episode's gonna be a bit of a long one, but we're gonna do one little run around the map. Um, and then I'm gonna call it, you guys, because this is the last last episode and we definitely need goals for our full playthrough, right? I mean, you, you all tell me in the comments below, please. Let me know if you're okay with this demo ending here and us waiting for full release. I am great and fine and happy with that. If you really want the demo to continue the playthrough on this channel, let me know that as well, because I, I could consider it. Um, yeah, I could consider it because I'm, <laughs> I'm having a blast now that I'm playing. So, you know. And we, we still haven't gotten our peaches. Maybe we continue until we get peaches. <gasps> what is that? You guys, we're finding so many new dinosaurs today. Look at them. These guys, their faces kind of look like carrots. Does that count? Look at that. Oh my lord, they're fast. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, so close. So close to me. Can I get can I get a better screenshot of you? Yeah, just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I feel like uh Owen Grady, like taming raptors right now, because they're all standing around staring at me. Look at how quick they are. Oh, lucky, you're gonna have so many friends. We're gonna have so many friends on our ranch. Okay, that's a bit of a dead end as well. This is a dead end too. Oh, look at, oh, dandelions. This is what we need. We need our journal. Yeah, dandelion. Beautiful, now we can pick them. Okay, so that was three, six, oh, oh, 10. Oh my gosh. This is probably our 15. Did we just find like the secret patch of dandelions? 
Beautiful. Is that it? Uh, yeah, we have enough. Okay. So how about we wrap up this episode, not by finding our strawberries, unfortunately, but let's run on back over to town and complete that quest because somebody wanted us to find dandelions and clovers and we did that. Oh, the Kelly Minus. They're so cute. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. <laughs> let's head on back over to town, turn that in and that'll be the end of this episode. Um, and then you all can let me know, uh, continue. Oh, I passed the town continuation. If you want this to continue in just the demo, because the demo is open until August. So technically we do have the time. Um, yeah, just let me know in the comments down below. Please feel free to browse. You'll never know what you'll find. I need to chat with you. Did you find the flowers for my uncle Taz? I sure did. You, you've saved my day. Can I pay you in carnivore food? Sure, deal. Wait, you're carrying too much. Hmm. Okay, just shells then. Can't blame a guy for trying. Oh. Oh my gosh, I received 250 shells? That's so much. So much. Okay, well, then uh, I think we will end it here back in town. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. If you are, definitely leave a like, comment down below, and I can't wait to talk to you in the next one. Bye!